A year after COVID canceled just about everything, many communities are gearing up to celebrate the 4th of July in a big way this year. Fort Ticonderoga recently welcomed guests to the historic fort that at one time was under the control of French troops. They got to dine on a traditional meal that would have been served to a French soldier from that era. Our Jack LeDuc shows us. French troops were not only fighting a war with the British, but at the same time, battling a killer disease. When the soldiers were here during the revolution, the American soldiers, they were facing smallpox and they were dealing with a lot of issues that we dealt with last year on top of that fighting the revolution. And they were dealing with strategic distancing and making sure soldiers stayed separate and, and trying to deal with that crisis. So, you know, we found such inspiration knowing that the men and women that were here in 1776 survived and overcame. Inside a stone room at the fort, with walls thick enough to repel musket and cannon shot, Chef Robert Burrell of Café Provence in Brandon, Vermont, set out to make a traditional French tomato pie, as spectators looked on and listened to the chef's recipe and creation. The, the technique is quite traditional because I make a pâte brisée under the tomatoes. I make basil pesto, which is also very traditional and in the culinary field. Caramelized onions, um, also very basic and, and, and good uh, culinary techniques. And then finally, um, the tomatoes, um, during the season you can use beautiful tomatoes available in gardens and, and there the choices are endless. Later, the culinary work delighted the public when they tasted it. It's very creamy and a lot of different flavors kind of blended together. Kind okay, of the combination. Nearby, in the open, a French soldier cooks an afternoon meal for a few troops. The simple meal consisted of peas, parsnips, onions, and ham. The cost of the food came out of a soldier's meager pay. In the northeast bastion there were the bread ovens. By 1758, they can effectively give enough bread for all the soldiers. Although, sometimes flour was short. And you even see peas being ground up at one point uh, to make flour to bake bread. The average French soldier in 1750 would eat about a pound of bread a day, which was about twice the size of this. During the Fete de Fort, a musical group from Vermont called Come and Go played period music for the public. But there was little dancing for the troops here. By 1757, crops failed. A cold summer stymied most growth. Later, the French left the fort, and the British took it over. The Americans finally won the Revolutionary War, with the fort falling back into the hands of the Americans. For Mountain Lake Journal, I'm Jack LeDuc in Ticonderoga. Jack LeDuc's Adirondack Journal on Mountain Lake PBS is brought to you by Northline Utilities.